Hey peeps, welcome to another video. Today I am doing my April lookbook and I've just added it up and apparently I did 15 and a half things in April and it's not over yet and I will have one more uh, complete by Sunday, although that's a muslin so technically that doesn't count. Um, yeah, it's been a busy month. I had a couple of challenges um, and one of them was the Easter Spring Dress Challenge, uh, which I made two things for, and this is one of them. Uh, this is the McCall Skater Dress, which I cannot remember the number of, but I will insert a picture here for you. And the fabric is from FC Studios, FC Fabric Studios. Um, and I believe they've sold out of this one now, but they have so many lovely fabrics on there, so I highly recommend you check them out. Um, I will insert a clip of me wearing this down here. And if you've watched my um, Easter spring dress reveal video, um, I'll put a card up here for you. I uh, went to a local kind of um, pretty area and the new someone and I filmed this with his Phantom 3 drone, uh, which was really cool and um, kind of came out all right, actually. I was really pleased with how the footage of that came out. And uh, yeah, it was totally down to him and his editing suggestions. So thank you, new someone. Um, I also made another dress which I haven't tried on since but it didn't really fit so I'm going to go and get that one and see if I can get into it. I'll be right back. So this is the other dress that I made for the Easter Spring Dress Challenge and it's a McCall 6696, I remember that number. Um, it's the sleeveless version and it is still a little bit too tight across the boobs. I'm not sure I'd be very happy wearing this out in public just yet but it does fit a lot better than it did. Um, I'll insert a clip down here for you of me actually twirling it outside. Um, I love this pattern and I really really love this fabric and this is very very sort of Easter springy I thought so I'm a a little bit gutted that I didn't get to show you that one um, a couple of weeks ago but it will be worn over the summer and you're going to be seeing lots of it so yeah there's this one and then the other challenge that I had uh, that I needed to complete this month was the KB pattern swap um, I needed to make the, uh, the lovely pattern that Jen had sent me which was the Tilly and the Button Zadie dress um, and if you watched my video yesterday no uh, Friday, uh, then you will have seen that, um, but it is basically this one here, and again I'll insert some clips of me wearing that one. Uh, this is definitely my Boxing Day dress as it's been christened, it feels like you're wearing pyjamas, um, and whilst I do really like this version, I will be making another one in a slightly heavier weight knit. Um, uh, knit fabric uh, and I've already picked that out and I'm going to be adding a circle skirt rather than the A-line skirt because that's just much more me. Um, but yeah, I was really pleased with how that one came out. Uh, next up I have got... So the next thing that I finished was the um, Astoria jumper in this super loose weaved uh, green stretchy knit fabric. Um, I was also making a... Um, fitted cardigan with the big skirt on it as well which I've got cut out but and I probably will finish by the end of the month but it hasn't it isn't finished now so I can't show it to you obviously um but I was going to be making like a tunic with the rest of this fabric but there wasn't enough left to do that after I'd cut the cardigan out but there was enough for a seam work Astoria because it's just just a smidge over a meter that you need um so yeah I'm really pleased with this one I added like um sort of like a, a, a roll neck, a funnel neck, I don't know. I think maybe need to bring the um, neckline in a bit for that, but I, I kind of like how this looks. I like that it's not too tight around here. And I think this is gonna be a really good jumper for spring because it's um, warm enough to add a little bit of, uh, to, yeah, to keep me sort of warm, but it's not like too much. So it's definitely not a winter jumper unless I was laying loads of things over it. But yeah, I think this is gonna be really cool for spring. So I'm looking forward to wearing this one. So I made three Astorias this month and the next one is out of this gorgeous Atelier Brunette um, Twinkle sweatshirt, which I absolutely love. It's so soft and if you've been watching my vlogs, you will have been seeing me wear this quite a lot when I get home. Um, now I said that I, cause I had to order a meter and a half of this and I got it from Cotton Reel Studios. Um, so they had quite a large chunk left over that wasn't really gonna be big enough for anything else. Um, but obviously was big enough that I didn't want to throw it away or anything. So I made a schnood um, and I used the um, rolled hem feature on my overlocker. And the idea was that I 
I like the sort of like rolled necks on these and obviously I cannot see myself so I have no idea if I've even made this a craft decent but I, the idea was that um, you could just sort of like add this to it and it would be a bit of extra warmth and it would look like a roll neck um, so yeah it was quite it was quite uh, fun to make it was just literally sort of sew a rectangle into a tube and then roll roll each edge of it which kind of come out like the sort of lettucey leafy bit which I quite like so yeah I'm quite quite, quite happy with that uh, so the final uh, Astoria that I've done is in this um, sort of like abstract rose print floral um, Angora knit that I got from the textile center. So I only had one meter of this and that was, um, there was some clever sort of, or well, uh, some interesting um, pattern maneuvering to get this all out of that one meter. And thankfully it's obviously not directional. So that helped a lot. Um, but yeah, I love it. I, I'm wearing it now with just a slip underneath it and um, I think I would prefer it with a long sleeve t-shirt underneath it just because it's not like, itchy but it's not the softest thing I've ever had on especially after just having that Atelier brunette stuff on but uh, yeah really really happy with this one and when I saw I, I, when I saw this fabric they only had a meter left so I, I was like I love it what can I make out of it I know the Seamwork Astoria so I had to buy it so it was always destined to be this and I'm really pleased with how it's turned out so yeah really like this one and you can't see but I'm actually also wearing um, another uh, item that I made out of just one meter of fabric um, when I ordered the scuba that I made my second Easter spring dress from from FC fabric studios uh, they also had another the first one was called I think it's called Susie or Susan digital and they had another version of that as well they had two meters of the one that I made the dress out of and they only had one meter of this that I've made a skirt out of and I was like umming and ahhing, I was like do I want a scuba Astoria, I don't think I do, what can I make with it? Um, and I decided to buy it and just fingers crossed that I could get a skirt out of it some way and it's this skirt from the McCall's pattern and again I cannot remember the number of it but I put it up earlier and I'll put it up again for you. Um, but yeah, so I use a skirt pattern from that. Um, usually I admit the back seam on that, but I didn't have enough fabric to do that. So the back seam is in there. So this is a three panel and I don't think it's a full, it's not, well, it's not a full circle skirt. I think it's like a three quarter circle skirt, um, but it just about fit out of that fabric. And I'm so pleased. I put a wide waistband on it, which I've added some wide elastic to. And I love this. It is so pretty. Um, I've worn it a couple of times now and um, I definitely think I've got some more of these in my future. In fact, I know I have because I've ordered a couple of meters of different floral scubas to make some more of these out of because it's just such a lovely, lovely thing to wear. So yeah, that was that one. So next up is another knit make and this again is fabric from the textile center and it's um, another one of those sort of like butt covering tunics that I made. I made it out of the spotty and stripy white and black angora angora knit uh, last time and i've made it out of this fl floral which is on a air force blue background with black stripes and um it's a s it, whilst it looks like i'm wearing a roll neck and it's really sunny outside it's actually a really really super lightweight fabric so it's really comfortable to wear um I'm really pleased with how this one's turned out. I've actually scooped in the sides of this one a little bit more from the last tunic that I did because it, that one, uh, whilst I like it, is still very up and down and it is tight on my hips given how big my hips are at the moment. So it was making me look a little bit bigger than I was. So I've scooped this one in more at the sides um, and I'm really pleased with how it's turned out. Uh, I will definitely be wearing this um, on the sort of cooler spring evenings that we're having and yeah. Very happy, it's a nice one. So the very final thing that I've made for myself clothing wise this month is this cardigan um, out of the red black flecked uh, knit from the textile center again. Um, if you've watched my vlogs, will you have seen this one yet? No, you haven't. My it's vlog going up tomorrow. I've worn this out to, I wore this over to Southampton with the white floral textured a skater dress that I made a couple of months ago and it's lovely. Um, I've still, I've made a few tweaks to this one. Um, I have done, so the, um, the pattern calls you to put the seam on the inside and I've put it actually under the collar here and then top stitch that down and then I've um, actually added a fur hook at the waist so it cinches in 
um, and can do up um, but isn't too distracting when you have it undone and then I've tacked down the collar pieces to the hem of um, hem of the cardigan as well um, it's still not perfect I'm I've got another one to make and it is at that green loose weave that you saw the Astoria in earlier so that I've made there's gonna be a few tweaks on that one and I think I will then have it exactly how I want it which is gonna be awesome because I love this shape um, I love, as I have said many times, I love anything that nips in at the waist and then has a full skirt over the top. And I think this looks great over um, my skater dresses, as you will see probably in the vlog on Monday. And I also really like this over um, uh, sort of skinny jeans or leggings and boots, which you will see in the clips outside now. So yeah, really pleased with that one. Um, I also made myself, this is the first thing that I made this month and it's another necessary clutch wallet um, and I did it in the um, stretch navy fabric with the red roses on it and I'm so pleased with this. My other one um, was the, uh, the, red, the chocolate cherries was a definitely a prototype and um, I, I've used it for two years and I love it and when it came to change everything over I couldn't bring myself to throw it away so I've still got it and it will it will be I think one that I will keep forever because it's um fond memories kind of thing um but yeah I am really pleased with this new one I've um used all the updated uh, tips and tricks that I found online and on YouTube and in different places so yeah I'm really pleased with how this one has come out um, the pattern is by Emmeline Bags. It's the Necessary Clutch Wallet, the classic shape. Um, they do do mini as well, which is awesome. And I'll put a link to her shop in the description bar down below for you. I also made uh, the Appaloosa Messenger Bag out of the pink flamingo and blue crane fabric. And I wasn't in love with the finished article to the point where um, one of the girls uh, that uh, works uh, at the tunnel well her mum works there and she was visiting and she fell in love with it and so her mum bought it for her um, and I just charged her for uh, the materials because it was kind of like a learning learning curve on that bag so it definitely wasn't perfect um, it came out it looked really good I have it, do, it does look really good and she's using it and it's very um, functional for her so that's great um, I just there are a few things that I would tweak for the next one and I think I think I'll make another one but having said that I then found the Annette bag pattern which is actually the size that I really wanted it which is big enough to take my 17 inch laptop so um, yeah there may or may not be another one of those in my future but um, it's a very very pretty bag and uh, for the size actually it was quite quite cute I can imagine that in sort of a leather and, and it looking really awesome but yeah so that was it for the stuff that I made for me I did however finish a regatta sailing dress for the lovely Holly and that's been sent off to her and um, she came in for a final fitting and it just needed to be taken in about an inch um, uh, over, over everything so I just moved the zip in for her on that one um, and I've sent it off to her I haven't had any photos back yet but when I do I will share them with you I also finished the lovely Katie's ingress dress um, which is fabulous there was five meters of fabric in that skirt and um, I think it looks awesome and I cannot wait to see it on Katie and I what was the other thing I finished oh yeah <laughs> completely forgot and the final thing that I commissioned that I finished this month was the um, black uh, chenille coat with the peacock lining and Tracy came to pick that up and she swished out the place and she looked fabulous and I've since had a message from her just saying how much she loves it so that's awesome um the new someone shirts did not get done they will be done next month I promise he's sitting over there going all right but yeah I promise they will be done and you guys will get to meet him next month that will be happening um and I also um didn't get the the Lizette coat is constructed but I was just waiting for the right colour thread to arrive for the because I'm going to do a rolled hem on the outside of that one because it's a double sided coat um, and I was right waiting for the right colour thread to arrive and they sent me one and it was billed as brown and it turned up and it was purple <laughs> so yeah I finally got the brown thread so I'm going to do that over the weekend hopefully I will finish the green cardigan and the other two things were the Gertie dress in the navy pansy crepe and then the circle skirt or the half circle skirt in that um, white blue floral poly crepe that I had as well 
Um, I didn't make either of those and I didn't even attempt to make either of those because after making that uh, yellow McCall's uh, shirt dress and it being so tight on me, it was a real kind of like, hang on a minute. Um, I'm a lot bigger than I was and I don't want to put the effort into making woven clothes that I will either have to, so I'll have to make them in the bigger size and I am losing weight at the moment. I've already lost a few pounds. I've started exercising again and I've started eating slightly more healthily and not just subsisting on cheese. So um, yeah, I didn't want to make uh, two woven items that I'm going to love and I love the fabrics of, so I didn't want to make them and then have to either take them in or just not wear them again, because given how much I hate alterations and the size of my UFO pile, they could have sat there for a while. So I will be making those two things and I will be making them in the future, but I'm not sure when yet. So yeah. They were the three things that I've not managed to show you. No, four things I've not managed to show you this month. But other than that, I'm really pleased. Yeah, 15 and a half things, that's not bad. Um, yeah, so I really hope you've enjoyed having a look at the different things that I've made this month. If you have, please give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't yet, please subscribe and I will see you again very soon. Bye.